Hi friends, Misha here. Welcome to another viewer's dream town tour. Today we are dreaming of the sleepy town of Kraken. It is a bit of a change from the usual scenery according to the creator. Kraken is a fall inspired town in November with colorful fall trees, tons of flowers, and a folk feel to it. The town itself is fully connected by paths and trees and this definitely drew my eye since it was a fall town. It's been, been a minute been a minute since we visited an autumnal town I'm excited to explore. Let's uh, try on a couple of these dresses here. Flower bopper, love it. Plaid cami dress, I think I'm good with the dresses we've got. And a leaf umbrella, sounds cute. Okay, let's, let's put on an outfit here. Uh, and if you guys want to visit this town along with me, please feel free. The dream address is in the description box below. And if you want to submit your town uh, to be visited in a video like this, let's see, I think I'm gonna go with this outfit minus the flower bopper. Now we are looking real heckin' cute, okay. Now if you want me to visit your town in a video like this, just submit your dream town info in the comments below. Just tell me your town name, your dream address, a brief description of your town, and any specific rooms or houses you want me to visit. If you have, you know, a lot of fully expanded uh, characters' homes, just let me know which ones are your favorites, which ones you've worked the most on, so I can be sure to go out of my way to see those and showcase those. And also tell me any social media you would like me to credit, if you have a Tumblr or Twitter or YouTube or whatever. Whatever you want me to credit, I will do it. Oh, what a cute town flag with a crescent moon in the starry night sky. Already loving all these autumn colors, especially these bright red trees. And I like these wooden, like wooden floorboard type paths. Or I guess, obviously it wouldn't be floorboards if they're outside, but like, kind of feels like a boardwalk. I like it. And I love, yeah, I just love these red trees. What are the normal trees look like. I feel like during this season when these fruit trees are bright red, I think the normal trees are more of like a orange or brown color. I'm not sure. Uh, really love these waterways too. Love the fountain, all the autumn color flowers. I'm just aimlessly wandering around, but I'm feeling this a lot. It looks like we got some different color flowers in the north of town. You can see some white ones up there. And lots of, let's see what villagers are uh, hanging out in, in Kraken. Let's see, we got Pippi, Dora, Peewee, Charlize, uh, Benjamin, Violet, Graham, and Bones. Cutie patoots. And they've got their own little, little sections here. Small neighborhood down there, small neighborhood up north. I love it. Let's see what we got going on up here. Oh, I love this archway sculpture. I like all the modern art. Uh, that new leaf incorporated into the public works projects. I hope they add some more. I hope they add some more modern art type stuff and more, you know, ancient art, like historical art as well from like different, different eras. That would be really fun to add around town and add in your homes as well. It'd be fun to have versions of all these art installments for uh, indoor decor as well. All right, let's cross this bridge. We'll go go down and up and around. Explore the town thoroughly. Looks like we've got the mayor's house up there. Steph, oh, cute. Oh, and we are already in an area with some different color flowers. I like the I like the contrast. Here's the cafe down here with some tulips out front. Still these red, beautiful red trees. We'll pop onto the beach, got some, oh, I like the seashells leading, leading you down here, making a, a kind of path. I like that. I've never had a town with a beach ramp like this, where it has like the little walls on both side, both sides. I always like those. Here's the flower clock showing off the perfect town. Oh, and the geyser, you guys know I love the geyser. We gotta wait here till it goes off. Guys, let me know in the comments if you visited along with me. I love hearing when people visit along, but I know a lot of you guys just like sitting back, relaxing, watching the town unfold before your eyes as well. Like listening for the geyser, because you know it starts like bubbling beneath the ground before it actually, actually shoots up. Oh, come on. 
Here, let's go up here. Oh, we got the Wisteria Trellis. We got some bushes. I love the way that- there we go. I knew it would come to us. <laughs> I love the way the paths are laid out. This looks nice having like a path on, on both sides of the more natural elements. And here's the modern police station with that waterway design again. This one's really cute. I remember seeing this on Tumblr years ago. It's a good one. Oh, we got a windmill. Oh, here's Benjamin, I think. Yes, Benjamin. Dion, am I already daydreaming? How'd you get here, Paul? <laughs> I love seeing uh, the catchphrases. The uh, <laughs> borderline inappropriate catchphrases. They make my day. Or like things that, you know, you might not think will get shown in the video. I love it. <laughs> Oh, perfect. Oh, here's retail up here. Again, surrounded by these beautiful trees. Oh, okay. See, here's the here's the regular trees. Yeah, they're that orange color. Such a different different colors between the fruit trees and the regular trees. Some seasons have that big contrast, and some seasons they're like the exact same color. It's really fun to see those changes. Oh, that was good. That was real good. 10 out of 10. Oh, hello! This must be Steph. Wearing Zelda's dress. Super cute. Oh, here's another flower clock. Wow, this town is just extra perfect. Two flower clocks. Here's the campsite up here by the town town hall. By the train station. Wow! Train station. I'm just gonna stop talking for the rest of this video, I guess. Here's the water well. <laughs> Another fountain. I love all the public works and these white flowers make everything really nice. Oh, this is a cute section up here. Some bushes and flowers. I love the way the the path leads up to it. I love the little hearts on the side of the path. This is so nice. All right, and up here is our mayor's home. Let's pop inside. This definitely does have a very folksy feel to it. I like it. I like it, I like it. Oh, and the house has a folksy feel to it as well. Lots of the cabin series. Got a couple plants. That mu Oh, I love the mush hanger. So cozy. I love it. Let's see what's back here. Oh, this is cute too. We got a little bedroom, lots of natural wood elements. I love the lawn lawn milk, all the plants with the harp, some more of the cabin stuff. Lots of plants over here. Digging it. I'm digging the folksy, folksy cozy vibe of everything. And over here on the left. Oh, I love the mush floor for the kitchen. That looks so nice. And I love this wooden table too. <sighs> apple pie. Apple pie sounds good right now. Love a good apple pie. <laughs> oh, the chicken makes noises. <sighs> And let's see, we still got upstairs and downstairs. Let's see what's going on. Oh, how pretty. Another bedroom, so dark. Relaxing. Is this lullaby or cupcakes? I can't remember. Okay, KK lullaby, yeah. Yeah, stale cupcakes is, is different. I love the the mixture um, having like the mermaid series up here, especially with the mush lamp. It makes it feel very magical, relaxing, dark, and sleepy. And what is in the basement? I must know. I must know. Sometimes people throw me off and put like really crazy, creepy stuff in the basement. Like the rest of the town is so normal, and then the basement just gets really. <laughs> really weird, but I like that. Now this one's this one's still super cozy, folksy. Restroom. I guess bathroom. 
basement. I never, whenever I was playing Detroit Become Human, um, they really? used the same. Ter they used the term restroom and bathroom. They used the term restroom to refer to a room really? with just a toilet and sink, and a bathroom to refer to like a full. But actually, I don't think that bathroom even had a toilet in it. I think it was just a shower and a sink. Or maybe not even a sink. It was very strange. I've never seen a room with a shower and, like, no toilet and sink. I've only ever see that, seen them, like, all together. I've seen, obviously, bathrooms with just the toilet and sink and no shower or bathtub. But it was, it was weird in that game seeing a room with just a shower. Is that, like, a common thing in some... Places having a room with a toilet and then a completely other separate room like down the hallway, you know, in a completely completely separate room, not just like an adjoining room, but completely separate with just a shower. It did that that was strange to me. Super cute bathroom though, by the way. <sighs> that was a super cozy home. Love Mare Steph's home. I think we have a teensy bit more of Kraken to explore before we wrap this up. This has been so nice seeing the autumn colors. I know I've visited a couple of cherry blossom towns recently and uh, some summer towns. And it's it's been a minute since I've seen an autumnal town, I feel like. Like mixing it up every once in a while. Alright, yeah, I guess we just need to go across the bridge. Anything we're missing? Oh, I like this, having the stumps and the mushrooms on either side right here. I like little touches, little details like that. Alright, thank you all so much for watching, and thank you for submitting your dream town for me, Steph. If that is your name, I'm going to assume since that's the mayor's name, but I don't know for sure. Thank you for submitting. Oh, there was an orange tree right here. Literally, right as I woke up, I could have seen the color of the regular tree. I just wasn't paying attention. All right, I will be back next Tuesday with another viewer's Dreamtown tour video, so please leave me your Dreamtown info in the comments below if you want me to visit yours. Um, even if you've submitted your Dreamtown info before, go ahead and submit it again if I have not uh, made a video of it yet, because I only pull these Dreamtowns from the most recent comment section of my most recent viewer's Dreamtown video. So go ahead, post your Dreamtown info again. I do these every Tuesday. would love to get through all of your all's towns. Thank you all so much for watching. You all have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another. Don't forget to be awesome. Bye.